Hi, I'm Sam Boatsfield from Sampson. We've had some really good news around here lately. We just finished, of course, the right wing not too long ago, and then successfully tested the wing swing mechanism for our switchblade flying car. It really looks cool. Let me show you. So this is what it looks like. This, of course, is the wing. It's in its stowed position as if it's in the belly of the vehicle. And if I was driving right now, I'd be sitting right about here, facing that way. This is a hinge beam number one. And this is hinge beam number two. This one, of course, is attached to the body. This one to the wing. And what happens, nice and tight here, everything's packaged in so it's all uh, nestled in tight. And then the wing starts to swing out. It's hinged there. The wing will start to swing out. And as the wing swings out, you'll notice that the hinge beams start to come into alignment where they are now parallel with the wing. And so when it's all out, the wing is fully extended, you've got a hinge beam which supports the wing in flight, and that's the structural piece which is really essential to a flying car. Now that you've seen how it works in real life, let's see how it looks on the body and how it relates to that. This, of course, is a wing that's ready for flight. It's fully extended, and when it starts to be stowed, you'll notice the clamshell doors open up underneath, the wing starts to swing forward up under the vehicle, and eventually it'll be fully stowed up inside, and the clamshell doors will close. That's really important for a flying car, and that's what sets us apart from many of the other new flying cars that are coming out soon. Thanks a lot from Samson.